Hey, how's it going? And welcome to yet another Creation Club mod review. And this time we'll be looking at an older mod called the Divine Crusader. And this review was requested by VSync FN, and so here it is. And I'll say I wish I'd done this before, as there's something in this mod that is really interesting and quite useful. Now, originally it cost 500 credits, which is approximately $5 or £4, but as with all these mods, it now comes in various deals. It was created by Matty743, and he has done some excellent work, and I've included uh, links to some of his former mods uh, below in the description, and these are for Xbox One and PC users only. Sadly, not for PS4 at the moment. Uh, so we'll do this in the usual way, a brief overview of the quest, have a look at the aesthetics, and then delve into the stats, and I'll give my thoughts at the end. So enough yapping, let's crack on. And once you've installed the Divine Crusader, the quest relics of the Crusader will be added to your journal, directing you to Four Skull Lookout, which is a small Nordic ruin located between Carthwayson and Red Eagle Redoubt, and it's east of Blind Cliff Cave. It is one of the three ruins that you'll have to visit for the Destruction Ritual Spell quest. Now, if you're new to the game and or are a low char character level, go prepared for this journey as you're going into Forsworn territory and you'll be meeting all sorts of strong enemies on the way, no matter which way you come. Anyway, once you're there, you'll have to fight a couple of bandits wearing the relics, plus a couple of their buddies, and it's a reasonably tough fight as well. And there's a level chest in the room if you're interested in that. Uh, okay, so now we've got these little beauties, let's go and see what they look like and we'll start with the heavy armour. Okay, so now we'll have a look at the stats, and the heavy armor has a total base rating of 96 without the shield, and 128 with, which is exactly the same stats as ebony armor, which actually makes this a very decent armor set to get, especially early on. Anyway, so we'll go through in the individual pieces. 
The helmet uh, of the Crusader, it requires a crundle ingot and the arcane blacksmith perk. Uh, has an armor rating of 21 and a weight of 10. The illusion spells cost 10% less to cast. Restoration spells cost 8% less to cast and prices are 8% better. Triple enchanted helmet, that's pretty good. The Curias of the Crusader again requires a Corundum Ingot and the Arcane Blacksmith Perk, uh, armor rating of 43 and a weight of 38, 10% uh, armor bonus and 10% reduce damage from undead while wearing the matched set and increases your health by 10 points. Uh, restoration spells cost 8% less to cast. The Gauntlets of the Crusader require again Corundum and the Arcane Blacksmith Perk, blah blah blah. Rating of 16 and a weight of 7. Restoration spells cost 8% less to cast and increases disease resistance by 50%. The Boots of the Crusader require a Corundum Ingots and the Arcane Blacksmith Perk. Rating 16 and a weight of 7. And Restoration spells cost 8% less to cast okay so it's decent armor protection there and the spells where well, it's definitely um towards a paladin kind of uh, build there okay so we'll have a look at the weapons and it comes with a, a weapon and a shield and we'll start with the weapon here the mace of the crusader requires a steel ingot and the arcane blixma Blacksmith, <laughs> blacksmith perk has a damage of 16 and a weight of 18 and the enchantment uh, burns the target for 15 points and the targets take on extra fire damage and this is the same base damage as the ebony and daedric maces but it weighs less so it's a pretty powerful weapon for sure and if we look at the shield uh, of the Crusader, it requires a Corundum Ingot and the Arcane Blacksmith Perk, armor rating of 32 and a weight of 14. Now this has actually got a very unusual and very decent enchantment actually. It's a wild blocking, it creates a ward that protects it up against spells for up to 40 points. And this really is a genuinely useful enchantment. And we look at the light armor stats and the total base stats are the same as glass armor which is 76 without the shield and 103 with and the enchantments are exactly the same as the heavy set we go through them anyway the reforged helmet has uh, armor rating 16 and a weight of 2 illusion spells cost 10 percent less to cast restoration spells 8 percent less to cast and prices are 10 percent sorry 8 percent better the reforged curious the crusader um oh sorry the helmet requires a uh, corundum 
ingot and the arcane blacksmith perk as well. In fact, I think they all do, apart from the weapons. Anyway, the reforged curious of the Crusader requires a crondom ingot and the arcane blacksmith perk. Uh, armor rating of 38 and a weight of 7. 10% uh, armor bonus and a 10% reduce damage from undead while wearing the match set and increases your health by 10 points. Restoration spells cost 8% less to cast. Now, as with the heavy armor, uh, this brings your total base armor rating up by 10 points. So in this case, it's to 86 without the shield and 113 with. And uh, just for your information here, this is higher than dragon scale armor. So it's not to be sneezed at. The reforged gauntlets of the Crusader requires again a corundum ingot and the arcane blacksmith perk and has a rating of 11 and a weight of 2. Restoration spells cost 8% less to cast, increases disease resistance by 50%. And finally, the reforged boots of the Crusader require corundum ingot, surprisingly, and even more surprisingly, the arcane blacksmith perk and has an armor rating of 11 and a weight of 2 and the restoration spells cost 8% less to cast so um, this again comes with a weapon and shield obviously these all are interchangeable you know whatever armor sets you're wearing and the uh, fastened shield of the crusader which is the shield obviously that comes with the light armor uh, requires a crundum ingot and the arcane blacksmith a perk has a, a rating of 32 and a weight of 14. Uh, no enchantment with this uh, which normally i'd like but i'll go into this later on um, as i have normally it gives you the option to put your own enchantment on it but uh, not in this case this is unenchantable and there but there is something special about this and i'll go into that later the sword of the crusader requires a steel ingot surprise surprise and the arcane blacksmith perk which is no surprise and has a damage of 14 and a weight of 13 and burns a target for 15 points and targets take on extra fire damage and this is the same base damage as a daedric sword but lighter so again this is a pretty powerful weapon okay so let's uh, talk about the one thing that makes this mod really stand out and that's the light armor fasten shield now which despite all appearances isn't actually a shield rather it's the only item in the game to utilize the shoulder equipment slot and it's simply equipped for additional armor boost without affecting any of the other gear and also for some strange reason it doesn't even negate the mage armor perk which is kind of handy if you're role playing as a mage though sadly it seems it can't be enchanted which is uh, that's a real shame so this means you get the boosted armor stats but you can still dual wield or use two-handed weapons and indeed if you wish you can also equip another shield which is which is great um, this shield works with any other set of armor and looks particularly good with the roguelike armors such as my shiny netch leather armor or for the kind of hedge knight look with the iron or steel spell knight armor not the ebony spell knight armor as uh, that's far too posh and as i mentioned before it would definitely be useful for any mage builds so there you go vsync fn i hope that's good enough for you and uh, so what do i think of all this um all in all i think these armors are pretty decent and they look good in my opinion though with these enchantments they're pretty well a kind of a niche set for those wanting to role play as a paladin or a vigil of stender etc or a restoration uh build the weapons are very good, though the enchantments are fairly average. It's just a simple um, fire enchantment on it. Um, it'd be nice if they were dual enchanted. Um, but still, the stats on the weapons are pretty damn good. Um, but they still deal a lot of damage when fully upgraded and the right 
perk so definitely not to be sneezed at the downside is these are non craftable so I do question how far these suits of armor will take in the game I think all these mods should come with a craftability so once the original set and name set has had its day you can retire to your trophy wall or your trophy room and make yourself a new set to see yourself through the whole game but all in all I think this is a, a very decent mod it would have been better um, as I mentioned before with craftable sets and especially if the fasten shield could have been enchanted but all in all uh, not a bad mod at all and has a high value uh, if you can pick it up in the deal and uh, I for one would definitely be using that shield in nearly every build going forward for, for sure anyway this is all my opinion and uh, which should be ignored by any right thinking people and I hope I've just given you enough info to choose whether this mod is right for you before you spend your hard, hard earned real life septims I hope you enjoyed the video catch you later Love you.